Hi guys, this is B Banks with B Banks' Alabaster Box, and I'm I'm coming to you today to show you how to upload your um, invoices with Paparazzi into Square. I know that that has been challenging for those of us who use Square versus Shopify or any other uh, user. And another consultant that I met at convention uh, challenged me to do this video. So this is for you and your mother. Um, uh, that I do this video. All right, I'm sorry. Let's keep it going, guys. So uh, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And I'm going to uh, show you first how to do your download of your invoices. So you're here, and you're going to download your invoice. I'm going to take myself off the screen for a second. All right, you're just going to download your invoice. So I'm going to download two invoices, uh, two of them from um, the convention of this year. So I'm looking for 5161. All right, so I found that one. And so it will load those pictures first. And so you'll see the download. All right, I just downloaded the pictures and then I'm gonna download the order. All right, and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do one more download. I'm gonna download order 8355. So again, I'm gonna go look for that order on my screen. 83.55. Oh, there you go, right there. All right, it has some of those Z's that are on there. And again, I'm going to download my images. All right, it's downloading. And then I'm going to export the order. All right, so I'm going to um, share my screen a different way so that you can see what I'm doing with my order. And so um, I'm going to share my window uh, this time so that you can see what's going on. I'm going to first, I'm going to download, extract all the pictures. Okay, so I'm in my file. I hit extract on my computer. And of course, it's extracting. So it's a big file. So give it just a second. Okay, give it just a second. All right, we've just extracted those files. And then I'm going to open up that order. All right, so now we've opened up the order. And so you'll see how all of these Z's have all these different lines. So first thing I'm going to do is go to my L column and I'm going to add quantity because that's going to be a key line in making sure your quantity uploads um, as you're bulk uploading there because it's not, it doesn't do it automatically, okay? So we add the quantity line and so we go through. So what I've noticed is that I have in rows two through uh, eight is all the Jane. Well, the way that Square works, it doesn't recognize all these blank lines. So you can't have them. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna only keep the first, the first line of each item and I'm gonna leave anything under that that is not needed. So we're gonna go in two through eight, I mean, three through eight, we're gonna delete because those are repetitive. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna keep line three now because that is the first line for the Tanisha, but we're going to go through and we're going to delete these extra ones here. Then we're going to see the Missy is there. We're going to go and delete the extra ones for that one. Then the Danielle will do the same thing. And notice I'm only deleting where it says two, three, four, five, six, seven over here on the side. Nothing that has a one in the image position. So the image position we're keeping anything with the one. We're deleting anything that does not have the one. The reason why is because those will give us an error when we go to upload them. So I'm going to delete those and keep it moving. All right, we're almost done. All right, there was 10 Z's and almost there. All right. All right, and these picture, I mean these, because these only come up as like an image. That's another reason why they don't um, recognize them. All right, and I think that is our last one. Make sure I didn't delete any. So I should have 10. Let's count to make sure we have 10. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great. All right, so in our quantity, um, I know that I only ordered two of each of these. Uh, so I can easily go and put, but you put whatever the quantity is that you ordered of these. I know that I only ordered two, so therefore I put two in the quantity. And then I just simply hit the save at the top. Now that that's saved, we're going to go over to our square dashboard. And now we're going to take a 
look at the square dashboard. So um, when you get to your square dashboard, you're going to go look for, scroll down and look for the items here in the left, and you're going to click on items. As you're clicking on items and it loads up, and I'm going to close this little bottom screen now, all right, you're going to look for at the top right where it says actions over here. Click on actions. It's going to open up a screen. You're going to find where it says import library. So you're going to import, which means you want to upload into your library. Okay. And then it gives you two options, modify or replace. If you hit the replace library, it's going to replace everything with only, it's going to replace your whole library in Square with what you upload. We don't want to do that. We want to modify, which means add or to make changes to the existing. All right, we're going to go, it says now to drag or drop your file. I'm going to go to my file, click all files, and find the file. The way I'm going to do that is to match it from the bottom. So it was 8355. I know that that was the CVS or the Excel. I make sure that's the same item. Again, making sure those items match so I know to upload that. And now it brings you to the screen. You're then going to go, the token is none. There's no token for any of our items. Your item handle is going to be the, your item name will be your title, I'm sorry. Your description will be the body HTML. It's going to automatically put those items in there. Your SKU, you're going to skip category and GTIN number. The SKU number is going to be the variant SKU. The variation name will be the variant inventory policy. And then your price will be the variant price from the drop down list and your new quantity will be the line where you added quantity that's going to be where you get so quantity will be there so now you'll see it, it drops quantity down here you can see quantity you can see price you can see deny the variant inventory deny, which means if you have a variation of the same item i don't do any variations i list each items equally so i always have that deny because it automatically defaults uh, which is also on the CBS, and then your SKU number will automatically upload itself, your description, and the title name. So if everything is correct, you will not get an error. If there's something wrong, or if there's too many characters in a, in a cell, which happens sometimes because the descriptions are long, you might have to go and delete some of the extra little characters out. Um, but usually it's the extra characters. When I say extra characters, I'll, sh characters, I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So you'll com hit confirm, you're going to continue and overwrite. And now it's going to upload um, that, that uh, invoice. Give it just a second. You see it's at 85. Almost done. And now you see where it says successfully imported that. So now I don't do anything else from this item screen. I actually go back to my home screen. And then I go to the online side. So I can show you what I mean. So now we go online. And we're just waiting. Okay, there we go. Online. I thought I clicked it. I didn't. And from the online side, it's loading. We're then going to click on uh, the title items on the left-hand side. As soon as it finished loading okay we're going to click on items and then site items this is where i actually go in and upload these items physically i've uploaded them in the system but they're not active on my website yet okay all right here we go so oops the wrong thing all right so now i'm here on the site items first thing we're going to do is go to the filter box there click unavailable items the reason i'm clicking that is because those items we just uploaded are not live in our inventory they're just in the background so we're going to click the unavailable and now you see there's 10 items there right here and you'll see all the names of those 10 pieces that I ordered. And however many, you can upload back-to-back -back invoices if you want. However many you upload, those items will start to filter here. If you get here and they're not there, sometimes there's a delay in them uh, moving over. It could take a couple of minutes for it to move it over, depending on how heavy the files are, okay? <coughs> so now, 
um, what you can see, you can see the price is there, the quantity is there, everything's already there, but they have no pictures and it all is unavailable. So we're gonna go to the first one. This is the amber. So we'll go on the first one, that picture, and we're gonna find the amber, which is a gold Z piece. Let's see, where is the amber? Amber, where are you? Amber, okay, there we go. So Amber's here, one of my faves, my I add from uh, the first 10, Amber's there, okay? So I click all the, I highlight all those pictures that are Amber and I upload them, okay? Now all those pictures are there. So now you have your stock file, you have this. What I like to do is rearrange them in the order I like to show mine. So I always keep the stock photo with just the item first. And then I do the necklace, the earrings, and then any additional pictures. I like to always put, if there's more than one style, especially for Z's, I like to put the picture where they're kind of dressed in an everyday wear and then the all uh, black. That's just my opinion. So people can see that look of how they can see everyday versus just the all uh, black or all uh, white or whatever they're wearing. All right, those photos are there. Now, when I say uh, you'll see the title, sales price, you're going to do a sale, any of that. The description's already there. When I say extra characters, these little things here automatically come because that's the way they happen. Square does not read those symbols. Maybe um, Shopify does, but Square does not read those symbols. So therefore, we have to delete those out. You can do that actually in the Excel if you choose to. I just choose to do it here. To me, it's a lot easier uh, and I don't make mistakes. So you can go in here, delete out any of those uh, pictures and little characters that don't match. I only leave the description of the necklace. Anything that is actual English that we can make out. Um, anything that's not English or that is characters or something like that, I leave outside of that because um, it doesn't pick up those symbols for square. Then where it says unavailable, hidden, or visible, you can hide the item, but it'd be in the inventory, but nobody will see it but you. It's unavailable right now, so nobody sees it, not even you when you go on there. Or you can do visible. I'm going to make the item visible. I'm going to pick my fulfillment options that I use. You can see your quantity, your item SKUs there, and then you would choose your category if you have categories. For me, I do have a category for my website. So I'll go down, I'll click my Z collection. I'll save that category. And then I will hit save right here at the top. And now that item will be live on my stuff. Now you see I'm down to nine items, so it takes it off. And that item is live. If you want to know if the item is live, you will just close out that filter. We're going to go search Amber in our inventory, and you'll see the Amber will pop up as a live item now in our inventory. All right. So I hope this was helpful. That is how you bulk load, upload your invoices into Square for paparazzi. I hope this video was informative and that it helps you become even a better consultant with your everyday uh, habits. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.